cell phone came a long way since their inception. There was 2G, 3G, 4G, and pretty soon there'll be 5G. What does it mean for the telecom operator? It means that within the same space, they need to carry more and more equipment. It's like if you had to carry all these cell phones within the same pocket. Let's deep dive into where the shortage of space actually happens, the cellular sites. Cellular sites look like this. They're part of a critical infrastructure that allow you to place a call anytime. In urban areas, they're installed on reinforced rooftops and they consist of equipment cabinets. Let's go have a look inside of one of these cabinets. Wow, it's full, completely full. Full of radios and batteries. When a network operator wants to increase the speed or the coverage of his network, it needs to add more radios. But that comes at a cost because it needs to make new space to accommodate those radios. What if there would be a way to instead save space that would be much more cost effective, right? Well, the issue here is that batteries, they take most of the space within the cellular site. Look, batteries are definitely bulky and it's a huge problem. On top of that, batteries, they require on-site testing. So a technician needs to drive twice a year to the cellular site and test every battery individually. It's obviously labor intensive and cost ineffective. Also, the batteries have a short life. They need to be replaced. And because they're heavy, it's literally a pain. The reason for all of this is that the market has barely evolved in the last 25 years. The main industry players are still using a hundred years old battery technology because they've been iterating on it for decades. What if we could start from a white page and come up with a solution that would save all these problems at once? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we do here at Autonom. Autonom, we came up with a solution that is smaller, that offers automatic testing, and that has a longer life. Check this out. So this is what a cellular site looks right now. With our battery technology, we can save 50% of the space within the cellular site from the space took by batteries. On top of that, our batteries, they self-test and they push the test result to the clouds where our algorithms can assess the health of the batteries. That means that no technician has to drive to the site. Also, our batteries have twice the life of the current industry standard. How do we make money? Well, at first, we sell a hardware to a telecom company. And then we offer him a service plan that takes the data in the cloud and convert it into a report that tells the operator when to change which batteries. Let's study the case of a small network operator. Say that we replace 20% of the batteries within his cellular sites. That would mean for us 4 million of sales. But for the operator, it means $20 million of savings. That's huge. Another thing that is huge is the total addressable market. The battery industry, battery backup industry as a whole globally is worth $10 billion a year. But if you narrow down to the battery backups within cellular sites that are running out of space in Canada and United States, it's a $300 million business opportunity. As of now, we raised $90,000, mostly founder and grants money. That allowed us to close two early customers in India with a miniature version of what we're doing right now. I'm very pleased to announce to you today that our second customer committed to buy for $250,000 worth of our battery solutions. Thanks. Our goal is to accelerate the speed to market and to reduce the lead time to 30 days. 
Next year, we're going to close a third customer in, in India. And, well, I forgot to say that our first two customers were in India. And then uh, we're going to raise a seed round that will um, allow us to close the first North American telco and to showcase to the world the benefit that we can bring to him at the Mobile World Congress in 2020. From that point, we'll raise a Series A that will ignite our international rollout just in time for the 5G being rolled out, the time when there'll be the largest shortages of space within the cellular sites. So we expect to break even in 2021 and, to, and our sales will accelerate with the 5G being rolled out in 2022. My name is Hugh Marceau. I'm the CEO of Autonom. My CTO and co-founder is Raphael Never. We know each other because we used to build at university electric race cars. And I was the founder of the team. Raphael was the electric lead. We're here to bring the electric car technology to the world of battery backups. We've got a fantastic team of advisors, including two former Bell and Rogers executives with a global reach, a B2B sales specialist with a proven track record, and an R&D grant specialist that will help us leverage the private equity that we raise to unlock government grant. We're looking tonight for $400,000 to ignite our commercialization, product development, and IP protection. That will lead us to a product market fit in North America, two recurrent clients in India, but looking for more, and exposure at the Mobile World Congress to trigger our international growth. Be ready for 5G. Be autonomous. Thank you.